and new episode. Oh, the anti action was on game. For those who are very observant, you will realize I have just come back from breakfast. <laughs> What was I doing? Uh, <coughs> <coughs> trying to look horsey. Not dying on spit. Oh. Yeah, uh, let's talk about last time. Last time we were talking about a plan of action. We need to get all the Pokemon bread. Get them their uh, their eggs. Ooh. Point of damage. Should be able to survive another. Use a stomp, I'll fail. Not worth it. Good stuff. Pupita's not far off level, they're not. <laughs> That looks really loud. No, I'm gonna, even though I've said before it was really quiet, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Because it looks really loud on that chart. It looks a bit bad. Right. I think it's three more levels on the horsey. Ooh, wrap it up. That'll be some good experience. So, let's uh, use you again. Yeah, so action plan. We breed all the Pokemons that we need. Once we have all the eggs, we will do an egg. We will take the ditto out, take one Pokemon out, put two random Pokemon in there for my party. Uh, probably like the Pupitar. Well, well, we'll have a look to see which one needs the most experience per level. And we'll look up an experience chart from. <coughs> then, uh, the two Pokemon that need the least amount of experience to get to level 100 will go in the daycare. And then we shall commence with training. Maybe do a swap out part way through. You know, like, say we get them to level 70, we'll say the catch to 70, we get them to 70, and then we swap them out for one of the ones that's in the daycare, so that way they're still leveling up. But still, we're going to have Pokemon in there whilst we do the eggs, because basically we need to get Pokemon leveled up, and if we're just running back and forth and doing nothing else, we might as well turn that, those steps into experience. Once all the eggs are done, then it's just finish off evolving Pokemon. Two of which are going to be a nightmare. You can see it's going to be the Blissey and the Hitmontop. And if we fuck up the Hitmontop, then we're going to have to lay another egg and do it again. So we always go with this one first because if we don't, she goes really high up on the. Man. And I can't be asked for my wheels up. I'm to make sure it's on the internet first. Yeah. I'm unlikely to get messages at this time on Sunday. <laughs> I'm not going to think it's UK. It'll be 11. Moltres, yes. Moltres is the better Pokemon for this because it is a bird type, so it won't take as much damage. <laughs> or it takes regular damage, because it doesn't take double. 
which my other Pokemon have been doing. So it should survive some cross shots. And it crits quite often, as I find. Oh, plus I get extra money for now, which is useful because we need what, like 9,000 games corners things. Oh, that's it. You're evolving. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we may take the XP share off the guitar now. Well, Tyranitar now. I think it's then we could say just put it on whatever Pokemon is we're trying to level up. And Tyranitar can just join the battle. Yes, it will take damage because it's a rock type taking on fighting types. <laughs> but it should be able to handle its own. It's, I mean, its stats should majorly increase. It should become a lot faster as well. Did he get snapped through? Well, it, just, it looks weird, just for how he's hunted over. <sighs> 10k level. Yeah, he did get a decent stat increase. <laughs> also, he summons sandstorms, which could be useful. <laughs> yeah. So, let's switch that out. Always Pokemon we're trying to train. So I don't, I don't think trying to will do too well here. Because it is, it's a ground rock type. If I'm right remembering, I'll have to double check. And rock type Pokemon take massive damage from fighting. Or maybe the rock changes to steel. I don't know, but I'm sure it's a rock ground. Maybe it's a rock dark. A rock dark. Uh, yeah. I think that type also takes extra damage from fighting. You can't. Fighting does indeed do double damage. And double damage for us. But so this is the worst problem I can have against. This. None of its moves are really going to help me. Yeah, it, it's it's a terrible choice. I shouldn't have sent it out. <laughs> send it more person. So we're gonna have to find somewhere else to level up to run attack. Maybe those two uh, trainers down by the tower. But that'd be like me leveling up all down the line because as I did, if I'm there, I can get to a Pokemon. They're not because I'm an APC easily. Whereas healing that just went out you just do a dance and uh, heal you for some reason. Cheeky look at that monster, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Look at that. I'm gonna do things here. Yeah. That's because. 
And I shot like, what? What? I mean, you can do things to me. I don't know you're doing things to me. Do it, burp. Yeah, you did things. But things. You did both things to my chum. My chum did not appreciate both things. No, no, but well, he's actually in a pose to do both things, so maybe he did appreciate it. Out of there, Moltres, out of there. Nice. And I want to do it three Pokemon at once. It's a lot easier to level up. Tarantula, swap out Moltres. And you use Surf. Burp. Mm -hmm. I was only expecting more damage. Which one is more likely to do damage to me? I think the Prime Beat is more likely to use Cross Shot. And the other guy's more likely to use Scary Face. So we're going to Flame Flower. Ooh, with a Body Slam. Flame on a Body Slam. Set a little ball on fire. There we've got 300, which means, of course, he gets 900. Yay! Come on, I hope not. Please survive. You're probably not gonna, because it's a fighting type move. That's done. At least Tyranitar's new some good experience. Oh, means, yeah, when we do the... Oh no, we need to have at least one boat, because we can't have six eggs. I think we could get the Ricardo and then just walk around. It'll take longer, but then everyone else will get experience. It doesn't matter anyway, because you need a Pokemon, so Mikado might as well stay in the tree. Nice. Nice, that's, that's actually quite good. She's now level 27. It's either 27 or 28 horse he evolves. I think it's 28. Alright, there's Flat I can heal, and I want to swap my Moltres for a Zapdos now. But whilst I'm doing this, I might as well get rid of Tranitar for a bit. Dark ground type, not rock dark. What is dark actually mean? Ghost, no dark types. I need a rock type. So he'd actually be really good against the ghost pole. Ah oh, shit, we didn't want him to evolve for another turn. Fuck. Well, there's no do overs. So now he doesn't have Earthquake. 
Ah, let's put one in there anyway, because it wouldn't affect the ghost bug. Because they float. We'll make the team work. Oh, we need to heal as well, don't we? Yes. By all means, we could actually teach Horsey Surf. And then we can get rid of Lapras. This is that we're only after one level. It's... It's gonna happen soon anyway. I mean, how much more experience does Horsey need? Yeah, it needs 1400. We're gonna get that in like a battle. Even to the point where I don't even think it's worth going all the way up to the thing. I might just take on the swimmer. Really? Really? Well, fuck you then. I wonder what the odds are of Max Val. Odds on. Oh, I messed that up. I was also expecting that drill pack to uh, finish him. It may have been a misplay there. Lapis may faint here. Scary face. He's so scary. Weakest Pokemon here is Zapdos, so we just take the experience share off now. What about the rest of the trainers with Zapdos? Then we'll go back and swap out again. Wait, what? It's not 28. No one was horsey of all that. I've been saying this wrong this whole time, and nobody's correct. What the hell? I blame society. Society and the swans. The damn swans. 
Yeah, we're all in Swan Land. Swandy Land. Swansea. Mm -hmm. Down Swans. And I'm not even connected to the internet, which I could be. Just let me connect, and then we'll check. Username and password. So I can get on my account, which is probably about halfway through the internet allowance. Even though I'm not halfway through the month yet. What level does Horsey evolve? 32! Jesus Christ! Alright, maybe we'll just hang out a bit longer then. Hee <laughs> yaw! And drop back. It's super effective! Manage experience each, nice. Another drill pack in there. Drill pack everything for the win. Ooh, he survived. Sweet, that was easy. Ooh, 1100 each. Nice. Three hours to go then. Look, I don't care what moves you have. Once you evolve, you're never leaving the PC again. It was me thinking that we'd have like half an hour episode here and then be straight into trading. Level 30. Nice. Two levels to go. That's good. Dude, if you're having a heart attack, do it in your own time. I'm faster than you. Hey, this chick must be pretty fucking fair, I mean. She's been running for this entire series near it all. We rarely have a war. We never stop. Unless you count the time between plays as, like, a day off. She generally just, like, plays for 24 hours a day. Well, technically, I've never seen the sun go down, so it's all one day. <laughs> She's been paying for several hours, well, several days straight, I guess. And she has been running for all of it, so... Her calf muscles. <laughs> Is it obvious what move I was going to use? Just... That's what I'm seeing, it just comes in, it does a squat, cross through hits, and then flies back up. Never lands. He's never allowed to land, because I'm never allowed to stop running. It's a fitness thing.
Yes, I want to just do some research into the shape of Zapdos and figure out if that's actually a flyable shape. Nice. Yeah, it's Kuno, that's obvious it means. It's a bird, it's got feathers. Even if it's made of ice, it's, it's still a feathery bird. But Zapdos doesn't. Zapdos is just like spiky wings. Is it, could they actually fly? But then again, you don't really have wings. <laughs> You can never get hit by critical but you always die to criticals. <laughs> Why did it skip over my egg? It'll take some time. What was this? Was this a squid leg? Maybe? Maybe it was a squid leg. When it hatches, we'll have to go to waterfall and we can. Bin it. And by bin it, I mean put it in pieces. Let's see if we can drill pet both of these now. Or is it that the bird stays straight but the beak just spins? Does, does he have a detachable beak? I want to go with that. He has a detachable beak that spins on his face like a drill. Sometimes it doesn't line up straight and beats like that. Ah, oh, so close. I reckon if we could go get a protein. One more protein on Zapdos. He'd be able to one-shot this thing. Well, the thing is, if you can't one-shot level 65, he's definitely not going to one-shot 65. So, we may need some key items. Or backup plans. Hey, can we see that boss sing? We turn that boss into a song girl. One more level. Ah, no, cross shot. Come on, level up again, please. Yeah. Time as well. Ah, oh, someone said the universe lined this up perfectly. Right, so that should be a new episode if I've done the time correctly there. When I go to the editing. <laughs> if it is, then I'm awesome. If not, then I'm not so awesome. Uh, my face keeps going dark when everything's going goes dark. Right, up to me. back on. It makes me go really orange though, that's the problem I got with my lamp. Anyway, so, whilst we're here, uh, move Pokemon. Uh, start in ring one side. Start. Oh, shit. Start and looks like I did it twice. 
I'm gonna come over here and we'll draw these. We'll draw this. We'll draw this. And we will draw this. And that should be all the Pokemon we need. And our last bunch of trade Pokemon. Well, minus the two legendary dogs. I keep saying these. I know that I'm going to come back and we're going to have to catch a legendary dog. Yes, I know I'm going to have to catch. Actually, no, I don't need to catch any more Pokemon. Got all the wild Pokemon. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I know I've still got two more trades to do after this. I, I know. 